Okay, so I'm going to show you how I took this shoe from here to here. Super cute, right? Now, I already recorded me doing this shoe, but for some reason it deleted. So, I'm just going to start over. The supplies that I used, a boa from Hobby Lobby. It was only $4.99. I lost the strap to the shoe. I don't know how. I don't know where. So I was going to, I needed ribbon anyway, or I needed a strap anyway. So I bought this ribbon from Hobby Lobby 2 for $2.99. Um, of course you're gonna need scissors which are covered in feathers right now. Scissors and hot glue gun and a marker to mark on the ribbon. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is put this out the way. You're gonna want to um, measure around your ankle. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is have people stop texting you. And then, I'm kind of ashy, so sorry about that. Don't feel like putting on a washer. You're going to want to measure around your ankle. And you're going to want to make it long enough to where you can tie a cute little bow. So since I already did one, I'm just going to take... So, okay, if you were doing it by yourself you want to measure it to be longer so that you can tie the bow because if you do it short your bow is not going to be that cute it's going to be a short little bow and that's not really that cute so i already measured earlier Oh my god, I'm gonna turn my sound off. Okay, so this is the one that I did earlier. So I'm just gonna match the length of that. see do y'all like my socks my mom got them for me for Christmas anyway so as you can see I have a nice little amount to tie me a bow but okay so at this point you're gonna want to try on your shoe I'm so ashy I'm so sorry uh, try on your shoe and put your string through it or your ribbon through it we're trying to get your ribbon through yes yes and make sure it's even here and you're gonna wanna do it as tight as you can or however you like to wear your ankle straps. I like mine to be tight so I don't fall. Then you're gonna take your marker and you're gonna mark on each side so you know, oops, got it on the shoe. Oh well. So you know where to put your boa or your feathers or whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, shoe. And you're going to take it off. And there you go. I'm just going to use my first one to make sure. Okay. And they match up. So. 
So I've already cut this one before. So okay, on the boa, at the end, the ends are going to be thinner than the middle part. So at first I used the ends to do my ankle strap, but it was a little bit too thin for me, you see? I wanted it to be more plush. So I went ahead and took that off and I did cut a piece that was more in the center. So here's the piece. I'm going to just measure from here to here your two marks that you made on here. And I'm just doing this on an old accounting book that I don't need anymore. Measure. Get you some scissors wherever they are. And you're going to kind of want to move the hair or the feathers or whatever out the way. You are going to have a lot of fallout. So it would probably be best to do this like on a wood floor so you can sweep it up. But I'm on carpet so I'm going to still sweep it up because my vacuum cleaner is broke. Uh. Anywho. And then you're going to get your hot glue gun. And you are going to glue. You're going to put a lot or a big chunk of glue at the very end where you've made your mark. Just to make sure it stays down right there. And then you can make you a little line. If you want to put more you can. I'm just doing a little line. And then add another chunk right there. And then you can place your boa. I like to put the end that I cut directly into the glue. So I won't have that much fallout. So like while I'm wherever I'm at. It's not like a trail of feathers following me. And just place it down. I'm going to try to do the same to this end. Like ugh. Push it in there. Glue on the feathers. Just take it out. Place it down. Turn it over. Sure. Don't mind my nails. I'm getting them done like one of these days. New Year's is coming up. And I want to just wait till it's closer to New Year's Eve to get my nails done. So I'm Ratchet City with my nails right now. Okay, so this one is done. Now on to doing the front of the heel. So, I'm not going to use that. Okay. So here's the front of my heel. My friends are going fed in this group chat wonder what they're talking about okay so you're gonna measure from one side to the other side and you're going to cut it where you measured it like they're really just going hard in this group chat I wonder what they're talking about okay so I cut it and while this is cute just with one, I wanted it to be a little more plush. So I'm going to do two. So I'm just going to take the first one that I measured, put it up here, and do cut another piece. ridiculous I have feathers everywhere okay so now I have the two pieces so you see how I'll just this is just one piece but I think it would look so much better with two pieces right <clears throat> okay 
So I'm going to first glue the two pieces together. Really simple. Just grab your piece, find whatever you want to make the side. It really doesn't matter. Get your hot glue gun, put some glue all up in there. Glue it, uh huh, uh huh. Glue all up in there. Get your second piece and just put them together. Smushing them together. And you see the difference between two pieces and one piece? Can you see the difference? Hold on, let's put the one piece here. Two pieces. Oh, I'm not taking a really see. I like that. Oh. Whatever. Okay. So then, get your little shoe. I have feathers everywhere. I'm so sad that I have to clean this up. Ugh. Get your shoe. Get your glue gun. Move the paper away. And just add glue. I'm putting a lot because I don't want to be walking and it just fall off. And then I'm missing the fur and it look like I left a dog behind me or something. So. Yes ma'am. I am all glued. Now I'm just going to take my pieces. And press them on. Now the ends, it did this on the other one too, the ends did not want to stay down so I'm just going to put extra glue on. Make sure you have um, a lot of glue sticks because I did, I have gone through like at least three so far. Or you might have a, my glue that might just be small. So I'm just adding more glue on. Even if you get it like on the feathers, that's fine. Like you can't really see anything. Just want to push it down and make sure that you're like getting that. y'all can't see me because I do look like, girl pretty rough. Okay. I might have to like trim the bottom just to make sure like while I'm walking it doesn't come up. I just really don't want this to come up. <laughs> oh, I will cry. Yep, I believe I am finito. I am gonna go back and this one has a lot more on the bottom than I don't even know where my other shoe is. Hello? Oh, over here. Then this one. So I am gonna go back and cut all of that off. Because I just don't want it to come up at all. 
so this is the final look well let me add first of all it's like this So freaking cute. Now these shoes are inspired by some other shoes that I've seen online. They were designer shoes. So I know that they cost an arm and a leg. So I was just like, let me do it myself. Because I already was missing the straps for these shoes. So... Might as well turn them into something. Here is the final look. I freaking love.